Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Living Opera with Sula and Norm. I'm Norm. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you don't know what Living Opera is, we are a community of people, uh, artists, singers, instrumentalists, people who just love classical music. And we get together and discuss in a positive way uh, the challenges, all the things it takes to be in the opera business. Uh, if that sounds like a community you would like to be a part of, please hit that subscribe button. We would be thrilled for you to be part of the Living Opera community. There's also our website, livingopera.org. Um, you can, we offer consultations, we offer uh, coachings, uh, all kinds of things. And so you can find all of that information on the website. And uh, today, and through the subsequent videos, I want to talk about my vocal warm-up. So today, I want to talk about the breathing exercises that I do and give you three exercises that I do every day. They're not complicated, uh, but they are extremely helpful. And I find them vital to set me up well when I'm then moving into warming up the voice. So, all right, without further ado, or whatever, <laughs> here we go. Vocal or breath, exercise number one. All right, everybody, here we go. Breath exercise number one. Now in this exercise, I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for depth in the breath, and I'm looking for resistance. Um, and so what I start with is my, what I like to call my fundamental breath. It is the breath that all other breaths are built off of, and that's where I start. So my initial breath is, I'm breathing low, I feel kind of an expanse, a release downward. And then as I breathe, I fill up my, my lungs, not high, because what we don't want is this, right? I don't want this, because actually, what I've done, if I breathe like this, this is locked, this, my stomach is actually already in, I have nowhere to go, and I've actually disconnected myself before I've even gotten started, okay? So the first thing we do is we start with that expansive downward breath and then I like, some people breathe through their nose, you can do that, please feel free. I actually prefer a more relaxed kind of open breath, allowing without any pressure, without any pushing, the larynx to kind of breathe down, to settle. And then what I'll do is I have my low expansive breath, I feel the depth, and then I fill my lungs up to capacity so that I feel resistance in my torso, in my ribs. It will feel very, it, you want it to feel soft. It's not about anything hard or, or pressed in or rigid. It will be a natural kind of expansion that you will then feel a resistance in, okay? And so what I do is I take the breath, I fill my lungs to capacity, and then I hold my breath. Again, it's soft, it's not like, it's not that but I hold my breath to fill that initial resistance. I begin at 15 seconds, I then move to 30 seconds, then I move to a minute, minute and a half, as long as you can do it. Uh, but take it in those increments and build up, okay? So I'll demonstrate that now today, obviously for, for sake of time, we'll go for 15 seconds, plus it's just easier. So, ha ha! <laughs> so, here we go. And you'll see when I do it because I close my mouth. So, here we go. Okay, so that's what we do. That's where I start. I start with that exercise. I feel depth and I feel resistance. That's goal number one. Okay, so now we're going to move to exercise number two. Here we go. All right, guys, breathing exercise number two. Now, like in the first one, we were looking for depth and we were looking for resistance. In this exercise, I want to begin to find connection and compression. Um, and so I'll start again, like I said before, that fundamental breath. I start with the same breath in all of these exercises. I don't change that. Then what I'm going to do is this exercise is going to be the 
okay? So what I'm feeling is for the compression part, obviously the compression is here. What I don't want is and I or we have to find that balance. One is not enough, the other's too much. Okay, and if you go then everything's here. You're locked. That so we don't want that, okay? So, and then what I will do, you take it and you keep that compression and the evenness of airflow, the evenness of breath, as long as you can take it and keep it consistent without having to manipulate, without having to go, oh, I need to do this. As you do it, you will actually begin to feel a connection down here and you will feel it. And it may be very small. It may be a larger move. It actually depends on the person. But you will feel kind of a natural this will naturally kind of come in. You'll feel it. Let's see what this looks like right now. I won't go too long, just to show you, hopefully, well, uh, how this goes. Hopefully that was even. Sula, was that even? Mm -hmm. Okay, really yay. Sula's right there. Um, so, we start there. I will do those 30 seconds, move to a minute, uh, and then eventually I will do go as long as I can, and I will do that three to four to five times. And then what you want to do is you want to add one more step to it. Again, it's about evenness, evenness of the breath, but we start small, we crescendo, and we decrescendo without any breaking, without any in, in, the, in the compression here. So, again, let's recap very quickly. First exercise, depth, resistance. Second exercise, compression, small, and connection. Now we're gonna move on to exercise number three. All right, here we go. Exercise number three, boom, boom, boom. So, we started with depth, resistance, we moved to connection and compression. Now we're gonna take the next step. We're going to add the voice, okay? Lip trills. So, I start, again, same bass breath. Now that we have that, let's add the voice. Now, when I add the voice, it's the same premise, but I start with that buzz, I add the voice, and I do a small interval. So I'll do a half step. Okay? And I should feel the same depth, connection that we've established, I feel compression. I feel all of those things together when I'm putting this uh, when I'm putting this together. Okay. So now that we've done the the quarter step, maybe I'll do that for 15, 30 seconds, a minute. I'll do it a few times. Again, building up on the next thing. So now I will add fifths to that same exercise. Alignment, breath. thing I do, then I do sirens up through the registers, uh, through the lip drill, okay? And that will look like this. Important note, be careful when you're coming down. So when you come down, make sure you, you keep that connection. Make sure you stay there. Allow that to build up and be very aware of what you're feeling. Be very aware of it. Be very precise about what you are feeling. These things are the components that are, are helpful in this and will help build you up, okay? So, thank you so much for being with me today. I hope this uh, was interesting for you. Hopefully these will help you find your way in this. I mean. Maybe you do a lot of these already anyway. That is the breath exercises for today. Thank you for being with us on Living Opera with Sula and Norm. If you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. That would be awesome. 
Uh, hop on over to livingopera.org, check us out, and uh, we thank you so much for being with us. Have a great day, take care of yourselves, uh, and we will see you very soon. Bye-bye.